reflecting on the state of South Africa's national identity. In South Africa, the discussion surrounding the nation's identity is brought to the forefront, emphasizing the necessity of commonly accepted national values. Good day, I'm Ken Helen and welcome to the Nganiyama News Channel. A critical perspective is offered on the observance of public holidays, with a focus on Reconciliation Day, celebrated on December 16th. The author contends that these holidays often lack meaningful significance, exemplified by the recent declaration of December 15th as a public holiday in celebration of the Springboks Rugby World Cup victory. The historical context of December 16th is acknowledged, highlighting its previous designations as Day of the Vow or MK Day the founding day of the ANC's military wing. In an attempt to bridge divides, the day was renamed Reconciliation Day during Chief Mangasudu Butelezi's tenure as Home Affairs Minister. However, the author observes that the concept of reconciliation has diminished in relevance over time. The broader ambition of nation-building is examined, with the author asserting that this goal has lost its appeal. The prevailing political climate is characterized by divisive politics, exacerbating tensions among racial groups and fostering narrow identity politics. The sentiment of xenophobia is also addressed, attributing it to a broken immigration management system and political exploitation for electoral gain. The article underscores the need for a renewed commitment to national values and a re-evaluation of public holidays. The proposal is made to rename holidays such as Human Rights Day and Youth Day to Sharpeville Day, emphasizing the importance of remembrance and reflection on past injustices. The overarching argument posits that South Africa's national identity and culture of success require a clear national purpose, guided by visionary leadership that seeks unity. The author contends that the current lack of meaning in political and public life reflects a deeper yearning for purpose among South Africans. The call to review and rename public holidays is seen as an opportunity to infuse significance and foster a collective sense of national identity. This article concludes by emphasizing the importance of shared goals, values, and purpose as the foundation for a united and successful nation. That's all for now on the Nganiyama News Channel. What are your thoughts on the state of South Africa's national identity? Let us know in the comments below. As always, do like the video, subscribe to the Nganiyama News Channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on this developing story and more news from the African diaspora and across the globe.